Thanks for joining us and let's get started. Welcome to our series on rediscovering your happiness and power. This is the beginner series inspired by the book, The Laughing Billionaire, How to Become Rich and Happy. Today, we discuss the long-term effects of momentary happiness. We address the definition and effects of short-term pleasures, short-term pleasures and harmful outcomes, and how to overcome short-term pleasures to reach fulfillment. As usual, we'll introduce you to your personal challenge, which is designed to get you in the habit of practicing things that are healthy for the new you. Ready? Awesome, let's get started. With that, we invite you to get settled in a place where you can digest this information without interruption or struggle, clear your mind, and get ready to take the next step in a vital transformation. Let's start with a brief moment of silence to focus and meditate on what you're about to learn, receive, and practice. I would like to start with the introduction to understand the concept of momentarily happiness. What is it all about? I mean, we're living in a time, if you think about it, we're living in a time that everything is going so fast. Speed, speed. We are in a microwave generation or in a Tinder generation. You know, whatever used to be like going to speed dating, turning into sex without, by the way, what is your name? You know, so things are changing and, and it's not as it used to be before. So people, us, all of us are becoming custom into the concept of speed. Everything is fast. You know, I gotta make my coffee, I get 20 seconds. Get 20 seconds of coffee, 30 seconds for a bagel, and I don't know what else, and I get my Uber ready to go. You know, everything is fast. So the, the long-term fulfillment is almost kind of gone. People are looking, how can I get fulfilled, and how can I be happy, Right now, no more waiting. I want it and I want it now. And of course, that's taking us to our first concept, our first subject of understanding how is that affecting us? How is that affecting us that we get whatever we want, as we want, whenever we want? Is that affecting us? Actually, it's really great. You see, you get home, you go on your computer, you order food, you're doing everything you want. Everything is just seem perfect but there is one thing that go that, that it's not going right one one thing one thing is missing do you know what it is you me us whatever that we receive whatever that we achieve or seem like we achieve that is not building me it just bring me more stuff into my life that i want at that moment and then, five minutes later, I want something else. So, anything which is just momentarily, just fulfill me for, for the time being, is taking away a way bigger prize from your life, which is you. And if it's you important to you, it's time for change. It's time that I am start looking internally and say to myself, I'm no longer going to look for just little things to go ahead and fulfill my life immediately, urgently, I gotta have it now. If there is something urgent, is you. And you to be happy, you to rediscover your happiness, you to rediscover your power, you to rediscover the concept of true fulfillment that come with time. You cannot just search for things that come immediately because immediately destroy one thing the self-development of the individual. When we're talking about momentarily happiness, it's mean in no time, in no price, in no money, in no effort, I get what I want. Whatever that you can get, that you can have it, that you want it and you have it, and you didn't make any effort, it's going under that title of momentary happiness. It can be sex, it can be food, it can be cheating in business and then get the money you want. If your goal is only result, 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 result-oriented person, you know, everybody wanna become result-oriented person. 
I'm getting to the bottom line. I'm getting to the bottom line. We meet so many people with the bottom line, but nobody is asked what's happening above that line. Yeah, the bottom line look big. You know, have money. I'm famous. I have all the friends. Don't you see my Facebook page? I have 4,000 friends. I don't know them, but I have them there. So it's all look under that line, perfect. But what about me? Is me above the line being built well? Is that sex life that you approach is building your true essence of who you are? Is that cheating the system and business and making you $1 billion that you want make you happy? Are you actually enjoy your money? Are you actually enjoy your private jet? Is your building, or I should say a house, turn into a home or is it just a building? How do you turn the things to a home? How do you turn your, your, your relationship with somebody into a love story? If you are only looking for momentarily happiness, you can never turn it. Because you're stuck into the thing, how can I get one thing, what I want. You're not getting, how do I achieve the true essence of who I am to be developed. And, you know, if you take, for example, and I will use this example with your permission, if a person born smart, beautiful, and rich, try to just to imagine that. Can they ever achieve beauty? Can they ever achieve wisdom? Can they ever achieve money? This story is gone for them. So the sad part, when you have something, what we call the bottom line that you want to achieve, you can't have a true essence of development in that area. To develop yourself in that area, we need the challenges. We need the time to go by until I get what I want. And through that, I achieve a true essence of happiness. When we talk about the result, the effect of a short-term pleasure, I mean, I can talk to you about, you know, when you become slave to those things, or you can become addicted to that result. When you are basically addicted to a certain result that you want in life, you no longer focus on you. You focus on the result. And when you focus on the result, there is one thing that you lose. And that's one thing is a major one. It's called happiness. You can have sitting on that private jet by yourself after you achieve the $2 billion that you want. You are there with a fake friend who respect your plan and you. And you're going to call them true friend because what else are you going to do? You never achieve that. You never achieve true friend. Or if you're beautiful, they're after your beauty. Or if you're wise, they're after your wisdom. I'm not here to make you judge your surrounding, but I'm here to ask you a question. Did you truly work on a true aspect of fulfillment or you want what you want immediately? Yes, sometimes we're lucky and we get it right, right away. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that if all what you're looking for is immediate fulfillment, then instead of looking for a relationship, you're looking just for sex, random sex. After all, I enjoy sex, right? After that 10 minutes of sex, what left? Nothing. Then you go to the next thing. Maybe you can find something better. If it's cheating somebody for money, you achieve now, you have $1 million in your pocket. Wonderful. Now, who can you cheat again? But you didn't truly achieve the essence of you making money. And for that reason, in that area, you're going to be insecure. In that area, you'll have panic attack. In that area, you're going to have anxiety. In that area, you will be sad. In that area, you will be empty. In that area, you will be lonely. You will know that you're fooling the universe. Nobody else knows, but you know. That's the only problem. You know. That, and then you have to convince everybody that you're not while you're knowing that you are. Can you imagine that living in a fake universe? When you have a chance to go into real reality, chasing that place that I'm here to achieve a goal. And regardless if it's hard, regardless if it's easy, I'm here to achieve a goal. And while I'm achieving the goal, I'm self-developing myself. Because the goal is self-developing myself. That's a real reason for me to work on myself. What, what do we do? How do we overcome it? Well. I mean, first, before you start thinking how to do it, we first have to stop. 
The stop is the stop what, of course, you're asking. You got to stop the idea of you getting fulfilling right away from things which you know and I know that you're kind of using all the tools that you have to manipulate the universe to give you what you want as you want it, when you want it. So that has to stop. Has to stop. You know, the punishment of a manipulator is that they ending up with the wrong things in their life. Wrong wife, wrong husband, wrong business deal. Manipulation, because you manipulate everybody to do what you want. You get them to do what you want, but then it's not yours. So you're stuck with them. So the first aspect, first aspect, you got to stop doing that. That's not the way to go. And the second thing is to think. You got to sit with yourself and start thinking, am I growing? Now, growing doesn't mean in size. Growing means an awareness. Am I growing? Am I actually becoming like a thinker? How can I get better in something? Am I getting better as myself? Not better as my neighbor, as myself. Am I getting better of being myself? For that, my friend, we need to achieve the goals of true fulfillment, not momentarily fulfillment, you know? So instead of saying the regular words that where you put, manipulate people into having a relationship with you, use a words where you can actually, that's the essence of yourself, of developing yourself step by step, being you. And the way you know you are getting there is you have to look for an effort. If there is not effort in what you're doing, there is no growth. It's gonna be difficult. If it's not difficult, we're already on the wrong path. That's how you know. So you take something which is not easy for you. Every person has something which is difficult for them to do and you master it. Why is it so important? You might not get the same result as you get when you do, when you act as a person who wants momentarily pleasure, but you're going to get you. Meaning what? Meaning that you're going to discover, wow, I couldn't believe I actually can do such a thing. I couldn't believe that I actually can listen to a person for 27 minutes. Usually I give a person two minutes. I listen 27 minutes to a person. That's an achievement. Don't look at the result. Look at the result of how you become as a person. Because as you become as a better person, a better version of yourself, then you can deal with everything around you. That's the goal. True happiness is not happening because you achieve a certain goal one or another. True happiness is happening when you discover something from within that you can do that. I can actually listen. I can forgive. I can, I can do better than that. I don't go after the momentarily pleasure of manipulate that guy or that girl for sex. I'm not going out to manipulate people to give me the money that I want. I can do that. But let me see if I can change that and truly achieve a place where they actually knock on my door and say, please, I want to give you the money. Please, I want to have a relationship with you. Achieve that goal, and through that, you are growing. You are going to the next level, and for that reason, you have a smile on your face. For that reason, you're not stressed. For that reason, you don't have anxiety attack. For that reason, you don't have that panic all the time, what's going to happen tomorrow. You actually live the life that you always wish to live with yourself, because the best person to be is finding the, the, the inner part of yourself, which is true happiness, true power that you have from within. Life is not about achieving what you want. Life is about overcoming what's difficult. If you're only busy achieving what I want, that's not life because that's not gonna shape you. It's gonna shape your domain, your surrounding, but it doesn't shape your internal essence. I would like to challenge you in this session of finding a true fulfillment versus momentarily fulfillment. And there'll be two steps to do that. First step, as we know, we all know gratitude is one of the wonderful things that we should do in our life. Not from a point of guilt, like we have to do it. We're doing it as you have gratitude, more nourishment is coming your way. So make sure that you make a list of 10 things that you have gratitude toward. You know, 10 things that you are truly appreciate that you have it in your life. Now, the second challenge that I would like to challenge you, which is difficult, is to say no to one, one, only one, not a lot, to one thing which you consider as momentarily pleasure, momentarily fulfillment. And I see you in the next session.
This has been another episode of Vital Transformation's Guided Sessions. For more information, visit us at vitaltransformation.org where you'll find access to all of our guided sessions, content library, weekly updates, and upcoming events. To keep content like this new, relevant, and free to the public, make a donation today at vitaltransformation.org slash donate, or write to us at donate at vitaltransformation.org. Thanks for joining us, and we'll speak to you soon.